Hey guys, welcome back to the Wooden Metal Workshop. I'm Kent. Got another new product review. Uh, well, not really a review, I don't like that. Uh, first impressions. Um, I had already shot this video once, lost the uh, footage with the, uh, along with the footage for the welding helmet. So, redoing this. Um, this is my new Jepson 14-inch uh, Premium Super Dry Cutter. Um, it's the model number 9435T3. I picked this up at Fabtech 2015. Um, little backstory on that: I uh, had purchased the uh, floor model, the demo model that they had, and they were going to ship it to me. And I knew it was going to take about a month to get it. Not a big deal. Um, we discussed that at the show. I knew how long it was going to take because they have to pack up their booth, ship it back to their headquarters, unpack it, everything, get it out of the, and then. They were going to ship it to me. Well, it turns out they had to ship it to one of their distributors who could then charge my credit card and ship it on to me. Uh, that was on the uh, company got it and had it ready for shipment on December 9th. And uh, they charged my credit card and they shipped it out to the wrong address. Um, not too happy with Acme uh, Tools right now. Or, yeah, it's Acme Tools. Um, they, uh, instead of following the directions that came with it, with my address on it and stuff. They looked it up in their computer somehow and got my old address. I bought stuff there before. I'm in their computer system. And uh, so they shipped it to the wrong address. I didn't get this until January 6th. Now granted, this is not the demo model. This is a brand new one. Um, other than the few cuts that I've made with it um, in the first video. And uh, Tell you what, I'm impressed with this saw. Now, I've been looking for a dry cutting saw for a while, and I've looked at uh, all the different brands and, and whatnot, and I wasn't impressed with them. Um, some of the old, uh, like the older Milwaukee, had a nice heavy base, but now it's stamped sheet metal. I mean, what's up with that? Uh, so, that's one of the things I liked about this one, is that it's a nice heavy aluminum casting. Uh, it's not stamped sheet metal. Uh, they all come with nice rubber feet on them, so a foot's a foot. But uh, this is a uh, German saw, okay? And like I said, it's nice and sturdy. It's got a lot of features that I like. Uh, one of the best ones so far is this amazingly long cord. It's probably about 14 feet, I think, uh, something like that. It's amazingly long. Wow. Which is nice. Uh, I've got a cord to plug it in here right now, but uh, a lot of times I have outlets all the way around the shop, and so having that nice long cord allow me to plug it in wherever I want to plug it in at. Um, it's got a lot of nice features. It's got a chip guard here to keep chips from popping up at you. These saws do throw a lot of chips. It's just the nature of the beast. Um, one of the other things that I liked about this saw over a lot of the competitors uh, with their advertising is that this carbide tip blade can be resharpened. They say it can be resharpened up to five times. So that's a, a big money saver for you right there. It's got a nice heavy aluminum guard versus uh, some, pla some of the other ones I've seen have plastic guards over the blade. Um, you throw in hot chips, uh, <laughs> plastic melts. Another thing I like is they have this little uh, uh, angle plate. Comes in, goes on the vise, and allows you to grab uh, round stock, angle stock, square stock, which will all be uh, throwing some cuts here in just a few minutes. Uh, I'm going to swing the camera around this side and talk about a couple of the other features. Switch to your safety glasses. Yes, I will switch to my safety glasses before we cut. Right here, right here. see my hand okay one of the other features I liked about this was that it's got I don't know see if we can take a shot up inside here these little blocks spring little blocks right against the blade and they take out the chatter and the vibration so it uh, uh, really keeps the uh, blade from chattering you get a better cut uh, the adjustment wrench is right here. Uh, quick, uh, quick slide vise makes 
setting up really easy. Uh, quick adjust fence, which is kind of stiff still. Uh, just a quick turn of the handle. So I'm going to get you set up here so you can see the good shot of the blade and we'll do some cuts and uh, see what we think. Colton, you want to hand me my safety glasses, please? Certainly. <laughs> this is something we use a lot of in the shop. Inch and a half, eighth inch by eighth inch angle. Uh, I'm always using this stuff for, for all kinds of different projects. So, we give that a first cut here. Since that's uh, something that I use a lot. Um, To operate the saw, this is your release to let it tip. If you don't squeeze that, it will not come down. Okay, so you got that. And then here you've got your trigger and your trigger safety right there. So uh, you're not going to accidentally slice yourself open with this one. Okay, the directions say to uh, go ahead and bring it down to a comfortable level and then Bring it up to let it get reach full speed before you start your cut. Now, one thing about a dry cut saw that I really like is it's not hot. There's the cut edge. There's no heat to it whatsoever putting my hand right on it. This one, little bit of heat, tiny piece. Um, the idea is that it puts all the heat into the chip versus putting the heat into the piece that you're cutting. So the chips come off hot, but the pieces stay cool. Um, got some other stuff here. Got uh, some square stock. Give that a cut. right on it no heat nice clean cut got a tiny little burr to clean up and where it came out and uh, just a little bit of clean up and you're ready to weld and I can test it works because those chips are hot out so let's see what else we have here we got some bigger stock here Once again, perfectly cool to the touch. That's a quarter, that's three sixteenths wall, two and a half inch, cold rolled, or excuse me, hot rolled. Do not stand next to this thing. <laughs> yeah, it does throw some chips. They all do. Um, haven't met one yet that, do, that doesn't. So um, let's see what else we got here. Okay, I want some round bar, inch and an eighth, I believe. Nice clean square cut. Boy, that's a, once again, thumb right on. Now these edges are sharp, okay, because it does do a, such a good job cutting. Um, 
Need a quarter? Okay, we're not we're not making slugs for the. Uh, how about some half inch by inch and a half bar? Warm but not hot. Got some aluminum here. Softer metal straight through it like butter. So, a lot of guys don't like dry cut saws because of the, they throw a lot of chips and uh, they're loud and they're noisy. They're way better than an abrasive saw. What? Talk about the, how it's got a built in chip guard. Oh, out the back. Right. It's got a chip guard here. There's a chip drawer underneath that pulls out the back so you can uh, catch some of the chips. Um, it's uh, supposed to catch more than... Uh, <laughs> they all say that they catch more than they actually do. But uh, in, in this case, it, uh, there's quite a few chips building up there in the pan. So, All right, so conclusion, this thing cuts great. Um, it doesn't, uh, it throws chips. They all throw chips. Um, it's got a nice heavy base, which is something that I was looking for. Um, in a future video, we'll be doing a uh, cart for this, uh, based off of a cart uh, put up by a member on the Garage Journal. Uh, when I go to build the cart, I'll throw a link to his thread in there, uh, give him credit for uh, his idea, which I'm going to steal blatantly. Uh, I don't care who knows it. Uh, but so far, this has been a good saw. Uh, I needed something that would give me nice weldable cuts quickly. The bandsaw, the horizontal bandsaw is great, but it's slow. And it, it's quiet and it doesn't, it, but the pieces still get hot. So if you're cutting off thin, thin slices that you need for something, uh, they're gonna be warm. So you're gonna have to wait a little bit. This, you can jump right in, grab your piece, get to welding or fitting or whatever it happens to be. Um, I think I've got one more thing that we're going to try and cut here. Uh, give me just a second to grab it. That just to came to mind. I got this uh, piece of stainless steel tube here. Uh, so there's a cut from the uh, uh, cutoff wheel. Okay, so we're going to square up that, true up that end and see where we, where we get. Maybe. And there's the cut off the saw. No interior burrs. And no real burr to the inside. A little bit of burr on the outside, not much. Easy to clean up. Way better than the cutoff wheel, that's for sure. This end I had squashed in the vise. Um, might as well cut that off too, since we're here. Left the burr on the cutoff piece here, a little burr here to clean off. But uh, other than that, good to go. And that stain, that was stainless steel. Uh, I don't remember what the grade on the steel uh, on the stainless steel is, right off the top of my head. But uh, stainless is hard to cut. Everybody knows that. So there it is, the Jepson Super Dry Cutter. Um, I'll throw a link in the uh, website. Are on the in the description on where you can find this. 
and uh, I'm impressed with it. I really am. And uh, after all the other ones that I've used, I like this one the best. Granted, it's not the cheapest. <laughs> so you guys have a great day, and uh, we'll catch you in the next video.